As you might know, for nearly four years, I've shared a bedroom with my younger brother, who is 15. Now, this has not been easy for either of us. However, thankfully, these times are now over. About a year ago, plans were set in motion to convert a disused outhouse building in our garden into a space that I could use to store my ever-increasing Doctor Who collection. Here are some photos from various stages of the building process. Over the past few months, I've deliberately stayed quiet about this on YouTube and Twitter as building has progressed, so that I can now do a big reveal now that the project is finally complete. This room tour video will also act as a sort of 3,000 subscribers special, given that I recently passed that milestone, and you can also expect a 3,000 subscribers giveaway to materialise in your subscription boxes very soon. But for now, without further ado, it's time to show you my new room. So here I am outside the outhouse, uh, slash the TARDIS as we nickname it, and let's go inside and have a look at my Doctor Who collection. So, if I just turn the exposure up, there we go. So there we go, this whole building here. Uh, now, it is a converted outhouse. This building used to be a little shed in our garden when we bought the house. The wall used to go up to just here, about where this beam is, uh, up to here. And it was a little kind of square cuboid room up to here. Uh, so all this new bit over here has been added on as part of the uh, extension and renovation project. Uh, the heating is under floor as well, which is great because it gives me loads of wall space, there's no radiators anywhere on the walls because of that. Uh, so, if I go back to the doorway over here, I'll take you through some of these bits in more detail. Uh, so let's start with the main figure unit here, which has come down uh, from my bedroom, my old bedroom, it was in there originally. Uh, and I'll start at the bottom of this. So down here, uh, just some boxes of old books and things that I'm hoping to get up on shelves eventually and this box down here has got all my old magazines in it so all my old Doctor Who Adventures magazines including my first issue from 10 years ago now. Moving up here uh, this is just fiction books really reference bits of fiction in there anthologies but mostly annuals the encyclopedias, brilliant books, uh, all sorts of stuff like that. Down below are some Funko Pops, uh, things like the First Doctor, the Fourth Doctor, Eleventh, Tenth and Twelfth as well, and some Monsters and Clara there as well. Over in this half uh, of this bottom section, I've got character building, and I do actually own basically all the character building figures and sets, but I've only got space here to, to fill one of these shelves uh, so I've only really got on display the early stuff so you know the angel set and the little uh, Dalek paradigm set down there and then some of the larger sets from that first wave the Cyberman one, the TARDIS and the Dalek one. Down below here I have got all the, the figures though from all the various waves one two three uh, and all the the fifth anniversary stuff the eleven the doctors set all the exclusive ones as well. And at the back here I've got some of the Display Bricks stuff at Series 4, so when they start to do the Capaldi era stuff just before the range went bust, and at the back, at the very back along the wall, some of the uh, leaflets that came with the figures. In terms of the 5 inch figures, they're in a slightly strange order. Uh, this is to allow me to put the 11th Doctor's Tardis play set up, which wouldn't fit between two of these normal shells, so I had to put it up there on the very top one. So chronologically it actually starts down here on the middle shelf uh, with the Hartnell stuff, 60s, and moving into the, the Troughton stuff here as well. I've got a nice collection of Cybermen and Daleks from that era. Uh, the Daleks and, and slightly larger items are at the back there. The K1 robot there. Uh, some Pertwee stuff down here. Uh, a nice fourth doctor down there. I'm moving on to some kind of Pyramids of Mars style stuff here. A little display with the pyramid and Sutek there. Uh, and I'm indebted to Miles Taylor uh, who helped me 
rearrange these figures. Uh, I'd already got them down here, but he helped me display them all again in the right order, uh, which was really helpful. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, that's to Miles, um, and a great thanks for his help uh, rearranging these figures in a new way. Um, so now onto the kind of Eccleston stuff here. Series 1, at the back I've got my War Doctor's TARDIS custom uh, and some various other bits, the Gallifrey Falls painting. Then up here on the top I've got Tenant stuff uh, with three levels. So at the back I've got Daleks and Face of Bow, the Sanctuary Base stuff, Cyber Controller and Throne, all, all the stuff like that. The large scale uh, bits and bobs really. So series three here, again with bits at the back, uh, moving into series four and series five. At the back there, some um, series four stuff, including the Supreme Dalek, right at the back there. And then Matt Smith era stuff, starting about here. Uh, so in series five, Daleks, Winston Churchill, the Pandorica up there, and some underhenge bits and bobs right at the top there and the Series 5 finale, and in Series 6, uh, I've got a nice little display there from the Doctor's Wife on the Junk TARDIS. And also this time round, I decided to mix up the display for Series 6 and put in the Flesh Bowl uh, bits and bobs from that set as well. Uh, you can just about make out the TARDIS playset at the back, and then some Cybermen and Silent variants to finish off. The figures resume down here with some uh, Series 7 era style stuff, moving into the time of the Doctor uh, and then the Twelfth Doctor kind of collector series stuff with some Daleks at the back some of them are the Asylum Daleks and then there's a yellow and orange one from the Paradigm Wave just because I couldn't fit them anywhere else uh, got Sherlock, kind of little Hulock thing going on there Moriarty Custom Series 9, Davros and the Doctor Professor Jones from the King's Chamber and other stories and then Missy to finish off. Over here we have the spin-off stuff, uh, so all the Sarah Jane Adventures range, um, a the Weevil at the back there from Torchwood, and some little extra bits like a, a Sontar in there, he came from a B&M set, and the Tenth Doctor there, just because I had nowhere else to put them and I wanted to, to beef up the Sarah Jane Adventures bit a little bit, and there's a canine there, I believe he's the um, running press kit variant. Then moving on to the 3.75 inch stuff, I have actually got most of the range but I can't fist all here, uh, which some people would say is more of a blessing than a curse to be honest, uh, but the later stuff from series 8 and 7 wasn't too bad. Now behind uh, these figures I've got some books, the complete history books, which I've got the majority of, or basically all the ones that have been released so far, uh, quite a few more since I last did a room tour and some Daleks at the back, the 12 inch ones, that's the uh, 50th anniversary Union Jack one and the Asylum Dalek from about 2013 there and more complete history books here with some new series novels along the top. Over here on this chest of drawers adjacent to the figure units I've got some other little bits and bobs um, so over here I've got the, the Dalek playset from the 3.75 inch range along with loads of bronze Daleks and an 11th Doctor and Clara variant just because I thought it would be fun to have them all on display that set though is ridiculous, it always falls apart these little peggy bits but anyway and then here is the RTD era TARDIS playset uh, which is really hard to display actually because it's so wide and deep but luckily I've got this nice deep chest of drawers here uh, so I decided to put it on there and on this set I've got a few figures on display some of the ones that I don't have displayed on the main unit uh, so some duplicates of 9th and 10th Doctors and companions including that god awful Rose Tyler with bright yellow hair it's disgusting that figure uh, but moving on I've got 10th Doctor over here Donna and the 5th Doctor just to have a sort of time crash thing going on but he's not the, the time crash variant, he's just a standard one. Down here I've got some of the 3.75 inch time zone sets that I can't fit on anywhere else uh, with some of the figures from those stories just put on there uh, for future display possibly because over at this end of the room uh, I have actually got plans to do 
built-in shelving above the bed and round onto this wall, but that's not materialised yet because obviously it's costly. Uh, so I've, I've made do with my existing furniture for the time being, but that would enable me to display more of the 3.75 inch stuff, more of the character's building and the books that I've got in storage as well. Uh, but for now, like I say, I'm making do with the stuff I've got. Uh, so this thing over here is a piece of retro 60s uh, shelving. This stuff was called Ladderax, and I suppose many of my uh, viewers and subscribers might be too young to know what this is. I certainly was until I was told. Uh, but it belongs to my dad's parents back in the 60s, and they bought it for their house. It's been in storage ever since, uh, and I thought, you know, in the absence of any built-in shelves, it would do the job for displaying DVDs and big finish uh, CDs down below as well, because the gaps are a really good size, they're a really sensible size, the gaps between different shelves. But before I get onto there, I've just got some posters here. That really, really great one from uh, 2013 of all the individual episodes and parts of Doctor Who stories. From an earthly child up there, all the way down to series seven and the time of the Doctor down there. And then below I've got this strange thing, which was given to me by a family friend who didn't want it anymore. It's a framed uh, Keep Calm, I'm the Doctor poster that I might put up on the wall, I've not decided yet, or I might just use the frame for something else. Over on this ladder axe unit, uh, at the top I've got the flight control TARDISes, because there's nowhere else I can fit them on, and also the beautiful 13 Doctor set variants, uh, with a different 12th Doctor one at the end, because I prefer the Series 9 one, and a Missy as well, and then there at the back is a remote control K9 as well. Moving down here, I've got my DVD collection. I won't spend too much time on these uh, because I am planning to do another DVD collection video at some point, an updated one. I'm now only missing about 60 from the Classic Era range. Uh, so I've got quite a few since I last did a room tour or, or DVD collection video. Uh, but as I say, I'll, I'll save that for that video. I won't talk about them too much here. But I have got some complete sets for some Doctors. The Pertwee era I've got just about all of now and the McCoy era I've got all of. I find it a really underrated era actually and I, I really like McCoy's Doctor uh, so I was keen to pick up all his stories. Holding them up there is a TARDIS money box. Oh, oh it's still on. I didn't know it's still on. Uh, it comes out with weird 12 Doctor quotes and then starts materialising like that. They're really weird, those quotes, actually, because they've still got the original music in the background. Then down here, some other little bits and bobs. Uh, Winston Churchill's broken glasses. They got broken in the move, sadly. A uh, Desk Patrol Dalek. A little TARDIS, some bits of acrylic, and a little calendar hook that I might put up. And the Regeneration set, which really is beautiful. I have got the vanilla releases of most of the Regeneration stories since because I'm an obsessive Doctor Who fan. Uh, but even so, as a collector's piece, it's really, really nice to have, just as an extra thing, really. I've actually left the space on these two shelves here for those 60 remaining classic DVD releases. Uh, so I've started a whole new shelf for my new series DVDs down here, uh, which naturally I've got all of. And little bits down here of Lego, uh, some minifigures that aren't Doctor Who related, some police bits that aren't Doctor Who related, a little Star Wars character and boat that aren't Doctor Who related, but then, oh here we go, some Doctor Who stuff. The Lego Dimensions bits and bobs, uh, and the, the TARDIS set here, and it's a real shame that we didn't get more of the range actually. Uh, I think there was a Missy thing planned for Lego Dimensions, but alas it wasn't to be. But it was good while it lasted, and uh, we got some nice stuff out of it. The TARDIS in particular is a really really nice set and makes for a great display piece. Down here I've got some other DVDs, bits and bobs, uh, I've got the spin-off stuff, so all of Torchwood, all of the Sarah Jane Adventures, K9 and Company and Downtime, which is really odd actually, um, it was a birthday present, but moving swiftly on. Some bits of figure adventures there, and then various other films, TV series, Broadchurch, Sherlock, Wizard vs Aliens, and ending with comedy there. I, Love a bit of The Office, you can't go wrong with that. And then down in front, some Time Squad figures from the uh, revived range that came around 2014-15. Um, and then there, those little running press kits that were released over a time. And then down below I've got some CDs, uh, some big finish box sets and releases. 
and I won't go through these in too much detail because I'll probably do a big finished collection video at some point, an updated one. Uh, but I've got lots of the Torchwood range, which is a bit mixed, and the unit range, which is always uh, consistently brilliant. And then down below here, we've got some other CDs, some soundtracks, and big finished bits that were too big to fit onto that shelf. So some of the book style releases. Uh, presented to Dalek, just because there was nowhere else to put him. And then at the back first, I've got some Mr. Men books from that range. Some of the Target stuff, including the new ones. Uh, and then various other works of fiction, some from school, some just for my own pleasure, so broad church, class. And then moving back into the familiar Doctor Who stuff right at the end there. In front of these, I have a few Titan vinyl figures, um, which are okay. They're a bit overpriced, I think, which is why I've mainly only really got them at the reduced price, because quite a few waves are now available for 3 99 on ForbiddenPlanet.com. Um, so yeah, I've got a good selection, a slightly random one really, but it's grown a little bit since the last room tour I did. I have got three Whispermen though, which is it's annoying, but at the same time it's not like having three River Songs or three Matt Smiths. So, uh, you know, it's not that bad I suppose. Over here I've got my Psychic Paper, which has got a weird message written on it actually. Uh, Doctor, I think that was when I was using the the little UV end pen nib on the sonic screwdriver, the 10th um, Doctor one. I was just trying that out, I thought, oh yeah, I'll be able to write on there and rub it off, and it didn't work, so hey. And then over here, the sonic screwdrivers themselves. Uh, I've got a Baker one, a Paul McGann one, uh, the other Doctor one, which should be there, or even the War Doctor, uh, the Artidiera one, 11th Doctor, 12th Doctor, and the 12th Doctor's one here. Down below in this cupboard unit, I've got my Doctor Who magazine collection, uh, various bits and bobs here. I've been collecting the magazine for a good kind of five years now, uh, so I've got quite a few issues, some more down below. And then here, some Titan stuff. I've got my uh, Big Finish Vortex collection there. And then in the other section, the other half of this unit, it will open, the door is a bit stiff sometimes. Uh, I've got various board games and then some more magazines, uh, Doctor Who magazine special editions, some Titan bits and bobs there. Right at the bottom I've got some uh, very special bits and pieces. Uh, this wonderful memento of uh, a brilliant day four years ago when I met Peter Capaldi and Mark Gatiss and Jenna Coleman on the set of Robot of Sherwood. I must get that reframed at some point because it's just a tatty kind of chipboardy style uh, really cheap one there. And then here, this is my autograph book. Uh, I've only really been going to conventions and stuff for about a year or two now, but I've got quite a few doctors and companions in that time, and these are all in chronological order of the conventions that I've been to, really. So they sort of tell a story of, of my convention journey, if you like. So we've got the attic there, uh, some Sarah Jane Adventures bits, me with Katie Manning, uh, and me with the uh, Sarge and Adventures kids, or adults now. Uh, Peter Davison, Nissa, Sarah Sutton, and that's about it really. Oh, and Science of the Time Lords, Paul McGann and Sylvester McCoy uh, from the most recent one that I went to. Um, if you're interested, I might do a separate video looking at my autograph collection. Let me know in the comments and uh, I might do that at some point in the future. Over here is my bed, which I won't linger on too much because that'll be weird. And then up here I've got like brilliant post that came in two parts with Doctor Who magazine last year showcasing all the 12 Doctors plus John Hurt down there as well. On the window ledge I've got some TARDIS themed items, uh, my wallet, my phone and then this lovely TARDIS speaker which I won from the Doctor Who site a couple of years ago. Uh, the original one didn't reply to the email and so they chose me instead at random uh, and I've got some great use of that especially since moving into here because I can just blast out Murray Gold's soundtrack throughout the whole of this room uh, and nobody cares. And then by the side of my bed here I've got this TARDIS shower mat which my brother got me one Christmas um, but you know hey I've just used it here instead of a normal carpet and it goes nicely with the, the duvet cover that I've currently got on and the, the speaker itself. Over here are some more bits and bobs and storage, a blanket box full of old bits of packaging and stuff and then up here is that brilliant poster that came with Doctor Who magazine at Christmas showcasing all of the 12th Doctors 
a fantastic adventure in the whole of his era, which I love to bits if you didn't know already. Over here is my desk, uh, bits of Doctor Who literature here on my reading list. I've got some filed away figure adventure scripts there, including the King's Chamber from Christmas, uh, and some other various bits and bobs here from my childhood, when I used to write my own Doctor Who stories featuring myself. Uh, and again, I might be able to make a video out of that if you let me know if that's something you'd be interested in. Uh, I might do that at some point in the future. Various bits of stationery there, Doctor Doc, uh, Join the Dots book, which I've done a couple of, but I need to do more of, so I've left that out to try and encourage myself to do a couple more of them. Um, and then here on the window ledge, uh, Doctor Who Monster Invasion TARDIS with loads of cards inside, the Weeping Angel that goes on the top of my Christmas tree each year, and just some other random bits and bobs. There's little vending machine figures, a 30th anniversary mug, I believe, that my brother got me once. Above the desk, I have some photos and postcards from various days of my life, places that I've gone to, uh, mostly Doctor Who locations, let's face it, uh, but other bits as well, like West Bay slash Broadchurch there. And then some lovely Doctor Who experience postcards up here, showcasing the Doctor's various costumes and outfits. By the side of the desk is my Series 10 poster from Doctor Who magazine last year. And really, that's just about it, I think. I've been around the whole of this room now. Uh, so, yeah, that is it. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you've enjoyed looking at my collection and my new place. Um, again, thank you to everyone that made this possible, this room. If you're watching this, you probably know who you are. A massive thanks also, once again, for 3,000 subscribers. It really does mean the world to me. Uh, and this is a sort of 3,000 subscribers special, I suppose, if you like. So, thank you very much for watching this video, and I'll see you soon for some more Doctor Who content. Goodbye for now, guys.